Hello and welcome back to Cuphead. This is Storman Gaming. I'm your Storman. Let me adjust my mic. I had it perfect and then I moved microns and uh, then it was not perfect. So today we stare again into the abyss. Sugarland shimmy. Let me hydrate myself properly. There we go. Haven't played this in about 48 hours, so obviously all skill will be completely gone. Oh, yep, okay, what the controls? I've never been on this side of this guy. Maybe this is the hot tip. It is not. Okay, so, left bump of his switch weapon. Here we go, oh, Muffin Man. His splats come out a surprisingly long way. And they will get you. They'll get you. When he just, just when he just stays at, at that end, though, he is pretty much a bitch. So he's he's dusted. Ah, waffle boy, and the jelly bean people, of the jelly bean kingdom. Uh -oh. Not sure what I could have done there. I mean, not put myself in that position to get hit would probably be... Okay, going poorly would probably be top of the list. <laughs> Jelly bean people, he's burning everything. Okay, so he's dead. It's all good practice. Who do we get now? I'm gonna guess Gumball. That is who I meant, but I guess that isn't actually a Gumball. Oh, Jelly bean people. Eh, yeah, okay. That was a fairly bad draw anyway. What have we got? What have we got? Yes. Well, yeah. Muffin Man's a good way to get to the second phase without taking any damage. Which is always valuable. Okay, I keep aiming the wrong way. I want to blame the controller. Because I was having some problems with this controller at some point in history. Why to change weapon? That's why I've dashed into him there. The knife crime in Jelly Bean Kingdom is off the charts. Ah, uh, okay. I'm just. I'm literally just filth. Gumball? Not Gobstopper. What did I just say? You never listen to me. Go away with your stupid homing mechanics. Balls dashed straight into a shotgun shell. Ah, oh, isn't he finished as well? Okay. This is it. This is the loop. I've got to record five episodes of this today. <laughs> that will not age me horribly at all. Remember, people like calling things the Dark Souls of things that aren't Dark Souls. Like people in this game, people like, oh, it's a Dark Souls of platform games. And it's not, because Salt and Sanctuary is. But there are similarities, in that this kind of just demands you do quite a few simple things right for a fairly short amount of time. I mean, with very... Uh, I don't know which way I dashed there. Uh, very little leniency or margin for error. So, I, I think it... Just useless. You deserve this death. Yeah. Jelly bean people. No. Please be like Gumball Man. Yes. I can still die to this guy. It's reasonably unlikely, but it has happened.
Oh, you twat. That was probably actually not that close. <sighs> so the, the key here is, you know, this is an obvious key. It's preserving your HP. Preserving your HP until the, the final stage, which is the worst stage. And it's the stage you get the least practice on. Uh, well, I guess. I guess you're here, so you might as well make the best of it. Okay, Muffin Man? Muffin Man would be great. Yes! Never ever stand near that door like that. Because the Jellybean people, they all ambush you. They are very proud people. And they will not stand for an invasion of their territory. Okay, so... You might be the worst possible. Balls. One hit we can deal with. Ah, fudge. <laughs> okay, so if we're going into the final stage, we're going in with one hit point, which is familiar territory, for sure. You can do this, though. You've noticed that I kept switch, switching, switching weapons. It's because I was trying to do my super move, and my brain kept telling me, "Press right bumper." This is a good. You're a good candidate for the first guy, because you're horrible. There we go. So then, I guess Muffin Man would be the ideal second, and Gumball third. That would probably be my perfect setup. Well, Gumball second, I can't really complain too much about. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't even know who I'd want here. So, uh, maybe uh, Muffin Man might be okay. I just told you they're proud. Why? Uh oh, uh oh. So let me go into the final stage with 2 HP just once, and I will be a happy camper. Enough of this. this is shotgun nonsense. Okay, so B is the attack I'm looking for. Oh, for f goodness. Come on. I feel like we're close here. Again, this guy's good to start with. Because he sucks a lot of bull. Here we go, here we go. Again, you're not the worst. Just have to... Make sure that if I'm in front of you in your figure eight pattern, I always have the option to dash through you. Oof, dashed into him there, not smart. <sighs> have we ever managed to avoid taking damage on the waffle? Range is the primary way to do that. Well, range, well, positioning is what I mean. Well, I'm only here for the practice at the minute, I guess. Ten minutes this has been. Feels like longer, I'll be honest. 
Okay. I took damage to this guy last time, which was made me very upset. I guess what would a in Britain we call this a gobstopper. In America, I think you call it a jawbreaker, and that's kind of bled over here a bit. But it used to, that was that was a gobstopper. Maybe they're different things. Maybe one of them has a gum in the middle of it. But I've always assumed it was a uh, a colonial. You, how did he not die to my onslaught? Like every other gum, like every other jelly bean person has before him. The worst possible phase three. That's how desperate things are. I'm like, I'm gonna wait. Shat the bed. Shat the bed completely. There was no hope. There is a place in the in the game that tells you your total deaths. I will check that periodically. Because, you know, I don't deserve happiness. Let's do some sort of past life regression and find out what it is that I'm atoning for here. I, as much as I complain about the game, I recognize it is a good game and I do like it. So it's kind of always in jest. And you know, I play it and I feel like I'm playing a cartoon. And I recognize these games come out like Dragon Ball Z, the fighting version or whatever. That look exactly like the cartoon. Well, it's it's a strange one because the game runs at 60 frames per second, but the animation's at 25. So this kind of, it looks a bit... <sighs> Why? Okay. I don't want to be... Go. Over here. Balls. I really thought you'd die before you got to hit me. Jelly bean people. Candy floss attack. Okay, so 2 HP. So our best ever chance. <laughs> because that would have been a death. I think you did drop me on that thing. Just end! Oh, you... I bet that's, like, right... Kissing the... It's so long! Why did this stage have to be so long? Okay, you're first. That's some comfort, I guess. Because if you're not for... Well... Oh, go away. I wonder if some sort of shield... Like, if they make a sequel. Some sort of, like, parry, like in, um... I recognize shields aren't parries, but, like, the little shield you get in Super Smash Brothers. It's, like, extremely short-lived. But blocks damage completely. Okay, this is okay for second stage. Jellybean man, dead. Sorry, jellybean person. I don't know why that matters. But I feel it's more consistent with the naming scheme I've put in place. Okay. This isn't brilliant, but it's also not horrifying. Okay, it gets, it gets slightly horrifying. What the heck? I know that's legit, and I walked straight into him, but... <laughs> Jellybean people! A couple more attempts, and I'll go back and try a different one, just... Because I can only do this for so long, before I literally just lose the will to live. Or will just spontaneously calcify in my chair. What would that look like? Would it become like 
Han Solo, like frozen in carbonite, or to just kind of turn to dust and blow away in the North Scottish wind. Of which there is plenty, believe me. I didn't even know which way I dashed there, because smoke dash is confusing. Okay. Someone good? Maybe Gumball? It's going to be Candy Corn. Oh no, the worst possible bastard. I just, why did I not move? Why did I, what am I doing? I almost did it again. This game really does make you, okay, let's try a different one. I know there's a boss that's an absolute horror story down here, which you never tried before, so we should try it. This is, uh, is this the death, po death ball? I think it is. Let's have a peek. Through all your battles and all my rhymes, you have failed and perished 52 times. I think that's more than my entire Dark Souls 2 playthrough already. Baby the Clown. Who doesn't love clowns, right? So it's quite low key at the minute, and then some other nonsense happens. Such as this. As you can see, this is already a hellscape. <laughs> and you can see the um, roller coaster coming in the background, so it is telegraphed well in advance. Parry that nose. Yep. Okay, just keep shooting him. That was not what I intended to do. I think this is a four-parter? I don't know what... Okay, so it's just conveyor belt, is it? Cool. Are they gonna fall? Yep, they are. What a whole look! And I will say, I feel like these bosses have too much health. Like the fight's just gone a little bit too long. Like they just wait. I thought that could only help me, like if I shoot that down. But apparently not. So that just keeps screwing me. All right, I'm just going to ignore it. Can I try this? Yeah, this is, I think this does more damage. Oh, yep, but he kind of moves erratically. So, back to this. I'm just a terrible player. But again, practice is useful. I should be parrying those ones to build up super. I can play the nose. Luckily, balloons are quite easy to kill. There's a few statements you can say on the internet that uh, would face almost uni- <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. I think I'm going to run into a problem- well, there's obviously a way around it, but I don't see how to do that bit without taking damage. Okay. My parry game is not strong. It would appear. As if we didn't know that. Okay, back to this. Just 
always be shooting his face and his weird possessed balloons. A great slam and then I did say it was a hellscape. So no one could be surprised by this. Oh my word. Good day for us. Well done. Look at the moon in the background. What's with its face? It's weird kind of um Japanese style. Is it like a Japanese mask? Because the mask that I thought of that looks nothing like is the kind of mask that the Joey Jordison wore. The drummer from Slipknot and I think Stone Sour. Kabu Kabu Kabuka mask? Is that what it's called? I don't know. That kind of famous, like, plain white mask. That I think that I think gets decorated. Anyway, the point is, it doesn't look like that, so that's not... It's not the greatest point I've ever made. Yep. Having said they die quickly, they seem to have become more robust since I said that. Oh, I've become mind flooded. That's also entirely possible. We good? Ah, yep. Why would they hurt me? Let's be honest. They're just like, oh, I walked into the back of someone. Dead. Oh, Cuphead. You could have spared us this if you just hadn't gamb- You know, you were on a winning streak. You had tons of money. Life seems pretty good. You bitch. Bitch ass duck. Geese for life. You know, you had money, life seems pretty good, you had that, like, wise old kettle that was like a mentor to you, and you're like, do you know what, I need more. I, I need to own a casino. Why do you want to own a casino? That's how you get the mafia at your door in, like, ten seconds flat. Paying protection money. You know, it's just, you don't need that. So, shooting the dogs just seems to make your life harder. Apart from this bit, where it seems quite easy. Just pop, just pop, just pop, just pop, just pop, you bitch. Okay, this is the bit I don't understand now. Like, how are you meant to avoid that when there's a... There. Okay, that was, yeah, that was totally worth it. When you've got this thing beneath you. So I'm safe here. Okay, that one's easy. It's the up and downy one that's horrifying. See that? Well, actually, that's really easy, but it's much harder when you're trying to parry and run along here. Okay, so we're making progress. To me, that looks like a dead person. But now I suspect he's going to come back stronger than ever. <laughs> what is this nightmare? So these have to- whoa. Balls, okay. That doesn't seem that bad. Oh, don't show me that. Here's a real high class so the penguins get taken out eventually by the uh, roller coaster. Good to know. Clear them if you can, but if you can't. <sighs> it's not the end of the world. I didn't want to get the- I didn't want them to drop the light bulb on me. I think he gets three of these normally. Yeah, there we go, they're done. So then, as we saw, just avoiding the dogs seems to be the better tactic. I mean, while there's no roller coaster, when the roller coaster gets here, just kind of focus on avoiding them if you can. If not, just focus on him. Okay, that kind of slows it all down a bit. If I'm trying to shoot them all, it becomes a little bit frantic. Okay. And this bit's starting to make sense now. Oh, you, you, he says, immediately demonstrating the complete lack of truth in that statement. <laughs> I 
should have learned from the first one. Learning lessons is for nerds, though, as absolutely everyone will tell you. Unless they're a nerd, in which case they'll lie. So again, this... Yeah, I think this is a, a case of, like, how you see the board. Because it feels like a different fight now. It feels a lot slower. Okay, we're doing better. We know to jump up and shoot the ducks. Wait for them to line up, and then we go past. Keep shooting the ducks. Wait for them to line up, and dash past, and he, he will be dead on his third pass. That did feel sooner. Get lost. Get the trash out of here. You cow. There we go. So, look, avoid the dogs. Shoot the guy. Unless there's no roller coaster, in which case you might as well shoot the dogs. Uh, or just walk into them too, that's good. Keep it going, keep it going. So you can do it before this get before the second pass. That's good. To I would officially like to declare shenanigans until the game that is a very bad boy. And I don't condone this. But I feel this bit is improving. And he will reliably be dead after this drive. And then this bit isn't too bad. I got a little bit overwhelmed by the dogs, but nothing. Kind of a uh, rock and a hard place situation there. Okay, you can do it well, be ah, well before this gets back. <laughs> I couldn't see it. I could not figure out how to line that up. Wait and see what he's doing before you jump, you. Idiot. <sighs> Imagine if it was like Dark Souls and after like a sufficient amount of deaths, they were just like, nah, we'll just not we'll just skip that stage. His first stage is now permanently dead. We'd be outraged because we're like, oh a casual mode. Which seems to upset a lot of people for reasons best known to themselves. The double bubble out. I don't know why I call it that because there's four of them. But I know it doesn't do four times the damage. It's just so stupid. Okay, if you hold the right bumper there, that's quite useful. Okay, so you wait. Find the gap, and then you again. I sometimes feel like there's not a not a way out. Well, you have to take the damage. That was close. Don't jump! Don't jump! Yeah, see, I'm learning. I didn't mean to jump, I was pressing right bumper, and I somehow that led to me pressing A. <laughs> <sighs> I hate clowns. Does anyone like clowns? Like, it's quite a popular tip here that people don't like clowns. We say, have you ever heard someone go to bat for clowns? Like, do you know, actually, you know, you say, oh, I hate clowns, are so creepy. You know, the Pennywises leading the march there. 
The other thing I'm like, you know, that's, that's unfair. Clowns are actually, you know, they do a lot of good. They provide a lot of entertainment. Or are they just, you know, universally... I mean, they must have been popular at some point to become so culturally significant. I mean, I, I would begrudge calling them culturally significant, but they're so prevalent culturally. Certainly. I don't even know where they're from. I have a feeling clowns are a French invention. Uh, that just might sound like rampant British prejudice coming through. I want this stage over with, because I find it the hardest to avoid damage. Please. Horrible man. Even with the su super move, it's still... Still a slog. There's no need to almost take that damage. I don't think he can take it. I don't think... Yeah, he's not vulnerable at that point. Wait for the roller coaster to take them out. That is one... Ah! Excellent! That's meant to be one of the hardest bosses in the game. Or suddenly a boss that mo people struggle with the most. And the cupcake one isn't actually that bad. But I'm just making it look like it's much, much harder than it is. Surely an A-, minus, yeah. Okay, I think we're going to end the episode there. Because that's a high point to end on, and I'm very impressed that I've done that. If you liked the episode, hit the like button, leave a comment down below saying what you liked about it. If you didn't like the episode, hit the dislike button, leave a comment down below saying what you didn't like about it. I make new content every single day, so if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. This has been Storm Gaming, I'm your Storm Man, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Mr. King Dice, I'm the gamest in the land. I never play nice, I'm the devil's right hand man. I can't let you pass, cause you ain't done everything.